Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Dynamics. In this video, we are going to see how to install OpenFoam version 2412. If you have watched my previous OpenFoam installation videos, I would have used something called the Windows Subsystem Linux, which is the WSL, to use OpenFoam because OpenFoam is generally made for a Linux PC. But if we want to use it in a Windows PC, we will be using WSL and then we will install OpenFoam inside that and we will be using and uh, in my previous videos, we have seen how to install in uh, WSL and all that. But in this video, we are going to see how to install it inside native Windows. Yes, you heard that right. We are going to use OpenFoam without the help of WSL or any Linux like dual boot or anything. We are just going to use Windows to install it and that's what we are going to see in this video. So I hope you are as excited as I am. Okay, so for that, for, you have to go to this link. I'll give the link in the description. You can see it says OpenFoam MinGW cross compilation. And by the way, I am used to saying this as MinGW. If it is pronounced differently, please let me know in the comment section. For now, I'm just going to call it MinGW. Okay, so you can see that MinGW is a Windows C++ compiler. In Linux, we'll be using a GCC. That is what comes in OpenFoam by default. You can go to the source code, change the compiler to MinGW. And if you compile it manually, you will be still getting the same EXE and everything. But OpenFoam just went ahead and made it much easier. And they are giving you a .exe file, which you can just download and use it. So uh, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the latest Windows MinGW download is available here. So just click it and uh, it will start downloading and you can choose a location and you can click download. But I have already downloaded it. So let me go to the location where I have downloaded and we will proceed with the installation. So this is the location where I have downloaded the file. You can see that this is a .exe file and it is around 320 MB or something. Yeah, it's around 320 MB. It's a .exe. So this is going to be acting as our installer, just like how you install any uh, software in Windows. So all you have to do is just double click this and the installation packager will start. So click next, change it to accept and then next and choose a location where you would like to install. So I'm just going to choose a location now. So I chose the location and then all you have to do is click install and wait for the installation to be done. So I chose this exact folder. So my version 2412 folder got created here. So if I go inside here, you will be able to see a lot of documents. It will not look traditionally like any other uh, open form version if you are used to using it in WSL. So I will explain how to run any case uh, with this setup. So it is not very intuitive. So I will explain all that after this installation is over. So once this is over, I'll continue with the video. Okay, now the installation is over. If you want to know the documentation, you can click show readme, but I don't want it. So I'm, I'm selecting it and then click finish. Now to use this open form, first you have to understand what this actually is. So OpenFoam generally is working on Linux, right? So Linux uses a C++ compiler called GCC. OpenFoam is entirely written in C++. So it uses GCC compiler to compile the entire OpenFoam inside Linux environment and that's how we use it. But coming to Windows, we can't use GCC. So we use something called the MinGW compiler, which is under this MSYS. And if you go to the third party, you will be able to see the MPI. So this MPI is there so that you can run the cases in parallel and we are using MS MPI. If you have seen it in uh, Linux, you would have seen open MPI, which is useful for Linux. But coming to Windows, we have this uh, Microsoft MPI. So we are using MS MPI. And then if you go inside this documents, you'll be able to see tutorial guide, user guide and all. If you go inside license, you will be able to see this. It is under uh, GNU GPL. So this is the license that open form follows which is basically free so you don't have to buy any license at all so if you go inside this msys64 you will be able to see the home so if you go inside home this will act like a linux environment basically so in linux you will be able to see the home and inside that you will have the username that is what you have here but by default it's of user it's better not to change it if you go inside that you will be able to see the bash rc also which is also a ubuntu file and inside that you have the open form so inside OpenFoam, we have OpenFoam version 2412. So this is all looking as if 
it is in a linux environment right from home so this is more like a very small environment made by msys or mgw compiler inside your windows pc so that all the linux commands can work in this location so now this looks familiar more like open form right so if you go inside tutorials you will be able to see all the tutorials again and then if you go to platforms you will be able to see all the solvers and everything but right now it is in exe so for example if you see simple form uh, simple form is now a exe file right so this is the advantage that we have when we are using this mgw compiler and uh, now we will see how to run a case using this okay so to do that we have this thing called open form msdos prompt so this is a batch file so when you double click this it is going to launch a terminal and similarly you also have this open form msys2 so if you double click this it will also again open a terminal and it will add the environment and everything inside msys so you will be able to see all your open form commands and linux commands work here to change the directory will use cd the ls all that will work here so you can see that ls works here but in a regular command prompt of windows all this won't work and if i put block mesh space help you'll be able to see that the block mesh is recognized the command is recognized here and you can also see the location of block mesh here the dot txe so i'm going to close this and open this msdos prompt so it looks like your command prompt okay so now i'm going to run block mesh hyphen help here okay it recognizes block mesh let's see if it recognizes our simple form yes it recognizes simple form also you can see that it is giving all the parameters and everything that is needed so now we have to clear the terminal but for that we have to use our um, windows command only because this is in a um, ms so it's microsoft prompt so if you put ls here it will not get recognized if i put dir here it will work so that's the command for windows similarly if i put clear it won't work but if i put cls it will work so if you want to use those linux commands you might have to use this M, uh, msys terminal and that will work just like linux so now we are going to see how to run a case so what i'm going to do is first i will open this msys terminal let it load now i am going to go inside this folder okay everything is there now what i am going to do is i am just going to create a folder called run okay now we are inside run i am going to copy a tutorial after a bit of time this uh, got copied here you will have to wait for it now if i type here you can see tutorials so let me go inside incompressible simple foam and uh, let's go inside pitch daily that's the tradition so let me run block mesh it's um, done and the next thing is run simple foam so the simple form is running just wait for it then do touch space paradox form okay and you can also open that location by typing explorer.exe space dot okay now i will double click this para view and open it yeah you can see that the case is there and um, now the open form is working inside windows as you can see here i don't have wsl at all so this is purely working on windows so if you are following any open form tutorial all you have to do is just open this terminal and navigate to that location wherever you are putting your files and then run or whatever commands you are following from the tutorial so that will work so you can follow any tutorial and work it on windows and it will make no difference in the set of commands if you are using this msys uh, terminal all you have to do is like navigate to that location because if you are using wsl you will just right click open in terminal and put wsl but even in the future videos i am going to use this M uh, msys terminal so that i don't have to depend on wsl so in this video we installed version 2412 inside windows 
so which is a dot com version or a community version as it is known if you think this video was useful consider subscribing to the channel consider dropping a like to this video if you think this might be useful for any of your friends or colleagues please consider sharing to them as well if you have suggestion for any specific videos related to open form or cfd kindly let me know in the comments i'll try to make a video about that as soon as possible so see you in another video until then happy learning